Hello everybody, this is Cynthia coming to you with another Girl Action video. And you already know by now, Girl Action represents the celebration, the loyalty, the commitment, and the support of the sisterhood. And today's video, y'all, I want to make this signature drink called Amber Biscotti Martini. Don't that sound good? Yes, and so I was thinking, you know, fall has just tiptoed right on in here, and I start to reflect on all things fall, like the colors, you know, like the orange, rust color, amber, start thinking about the smell of fall, like cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, uh, start thinking about sweaters, scarves, hats, boots, you know, cozying up in front of the fireplace. And so as I was reflecting on all things fall, I started thinking about some signature drinks that I could make that remind everybody of fall. And so stay tuned, y'all. I just got to go get everything together. Don't go nowhere. Trust me, I know you're going to like this Amber Biscotti Martini. It's going to be delicious. Okay, y'all. So I am back with all of the ingredients for this Amber Biscotti Martini. So y'all, let me just show y'all real quick. So we have our biscotti cookies, right? Everybody already familiar with the biscotti cookies. We have some rum chata, right? We have some Hershey chocolate syrup, okay? And so to pull in the fall colors, I wanted to try a cognac. So we have Hennessy here. And I wanted to see which one tastes better. And since we're still going with the fall colors, I have some bourbon here. So I'm going to try this ingredient with both bourbon and cognac. So we're going to have two martinis, y'all. Two amber biscotti martinis. One just with cognac, one with bourbon. So we're going to serve them on this tray here. And so we're going to get started. Okay, so we're going to chop up some biscotti cookies. So I'm thinking about four of these, right? I got about four of these. Right. And if you don't have a chopper, that's fine, okay? You know, use what you got. Okay, perfect. So, you want them this consistency, you know, just crumbled up, right? Okay. So we have our biscotti. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and pour these. I'm going to pour those out. Oh, no, I can't let go of the, the little bits. <laughs> I'm going to eat those. Mm -hmm. So we're going to, we're just going to spray that out. Like make your biscotti crumbs a whale. Alright? And so... What I'm going to do is, I'm going to use this syrup, right? And I'm going to coat the rim of a martini glass with this chocolate syrup. And then I'm going to dip that rim into our biscotti crumbs, okay? Now, it's imperative that your martini glasses are uh, frozen, right? You want those uh, in the refrigerator for about 10, 15 minutes because we want the chocolate to adhere to the glass, okay? Watch. Okay, so see how our martini glasses are frosted, right? Okay. So I'm just going to, on the outside of this rim, just a little bit of chocolate, right? Now just be careful, it don't have to be too messy, right? Okay, so that's one. Y'all see how I did that? Right, so you're just going to dip that. You're just going to dip that chocolate. And if you want, you know, you just kind of layer up that, that biscotti cookie, cookie crumb like that. So just tap that off. See what y'all have, y'all. See what y'all have. Okay, now let me hurry up and do the next one. So you got to be quick with this because we don't want our martini glasses to thaw out. We don't want them to thaw out. Okay, 
So. Shake that one off. All right. I'm going to put a little bit more of mine up there. Okay. So. Ooh. Sometimes it can get a little messy, but that's all right. All right. So we're going to. Put that to the side. Put that to the side. Okay, so y'all, what you want to do now is, right, you just want to put a little, just drizzle a little bit in there. See that? Just a little bit. While your martini glass is nice and cold. And so it's going to help that chocolate stick to the glass, right? So, we're going to take some of our rum chata, all right, we're going to take a shot of our rum chata, that's a lot of shot, and we're going to pour that slowly, see how pretty that is, y'all, ooh, okay, we're going to pour it slow in there, right, that looks so pretty, so pretty. Okay, let me just pour just a little bit, just to get it halfway. But you get the idea, probably about shot and a half of rum chata, right? And then, okay, so this one is gonna be our cognac, y'all. This one be our cognac. So we just want like a half shot of this. You know, cause we're trying to bring in the fall flavors, right? We're just trying to bring in those fall flavors. And then here is our, oh, I should have had this open, our bourbon. Shoot, I just got my nails done. Here. I'm gonna try to mess up my nails trying to get that seal off. So, all right, we're going to pour a little bit of that bourbon in there. Try to give it that amber color. All right, so that's that one. And I just need a little bit just to make these even. A little bit. Just a little bit of that henny. All right, y'all see how that looks. Woo! So this one is the cognac. This one is the bourbon. Let's get a straw. We're gonna sample it. We'll let you know how it tastes. That's the true test. Okay, so let's see. Y'all, mm. that is delicious. Okay, hold on a second, y'all. Hold on. Man, that one is good too. Wow, let me see. Mm. It's not overly sweet. And see, the chocolate hasn't melted yet, y'all. That's why you wanna freeze. You wanna get that frost on your martini glass so that chocolate can stick. Wait a minute, y'all, hold on, I, I don't, mm. Man, both are delicious. Both are delicious. I'm just eating that, the biscotti crumb off that chocolate. Mm. Y'all, I don't know which one I like. Oh my goodness. Which one I like. Both are absolutely delicious. But anyway, you guys get the drift. So we're gonna take this, serve this to your guest. You know what, y'all? I say y'all get both. Get you a good cognac and get you a good bourbon. 
Both are equally delicious and both equally remind me of fall. Okay, I think this is going to be a hit. This is going to be a hit at one of my gatherings. I already know it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me see one more again. It just depends on if you're a cognac person or if you're a bourbon person. There's just a slight difference in that I'm getting a little bit more sweetness with the bourbon, but it's like a hint of sweetness. But when I tell you they're equally good, equally good. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a dessert. Mm. You know what I would suggest? You know, if you're entertaining, have your guests <laughs> sit at the table so the crumbs don't fall off and make a mess and just eat the dessert first. This is kind of like, you know, two in one. You eat your dessert first. Mm hmm. And then you drink your drink. Mm mm mm. Yeah. I really like both. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave your comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. Share my channel. I appreciate it. This is Cynthia. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate your viewership. And let me know what you think about these Amber Biscotti martinis. Try them at home. See if you like them. And stay tuned, y'all. Because I have a series of drinks that I'm going to be trying out. And so I want to know what you think. All right. Take care. Till next time.